Hello, I'm Nick Harrison, and today I'm gonna to be making a tenon jig for the table saw. The first thing I'm gonna do is get some pieces of scrap plywood, three quarter inch plywood that I have in my shop. And the way this jig's gonna work is it's gonna fit over my table saw fence. So if I remove my mess here, it's gonna fit very snugly along this side and this side and go over the top of it. So, um, and it'll ride like this. That way you can adjust it as close to the blade as you need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a couple measurements of my fence and cut the pieces down that will fit around this fence. Okay, I now have all my pieces cut. And the way this is gonna work is this goes on top of the fence. These two pieces go on the side of the fence. So these pieces go on the side. This one will go on top like that. And then this will go upright like that. These pieces will be here as a stopper to hold your piece in place when you're cutting the tenon. So now what I'm gonna do is back here, I'm just gonna put some wood screws and glue in here. And then this is gonna drill into the face here, but when I do that, you wanna make sure these are countersunk so that the screw heads are flush or less than flush than this piece so you don't interfere with your wood or your material when you're making the tenon cut. So now I'm gonna get some wood screws, wood glue, start putting this thing together. Okay, now for all practical purposes, this is complete. But what I am gonna do is take it over to the drill press and drill a couple holes in here. What that will allow is an F clamp or any kind of clamp really to go through this side, clamp the piece down and be able to hold it to this. What you don't want is if you have a long piece of material here, especially if it's smaller or thin, is for that blade when you're making the tenon cut to kick back on you. So this stop will help with that, but then also the holes that I'm gonna put are gonna help because that will allow a clamp to go through there, hold everything in place. So I'm gonna use a Forstner bit on the drill press to drill the holes out. Okay, now that I have these two holes drilled out here, um, this is just designed to where, depending on how big your material is, you can either use this one. If it's a bigger piece of material, you can use this one. If it's even bigger, you can just clamp it on the end here. Um, you could add as many clamps as you need, of course. But the way this is designed is so that when your piece comes in like this, you can clamp it on here. Um, a bigger clamp would probably be more sufficient with a bigger throat. But basically this clamp would come in here you could tighten it down like this. Hold your piece in place so it's rock solid. If it does kick back, the bottom's gonna kick back and it won't go anywhere because this stop here. You would set your fence to wherever you wanna make that tenon cut and then make the cut.
After your cut's been made, take it out, and now you have a tenon cut in whatever your piece is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below with any questions. You can find plans for this on my website. A link will be down below. Hit me up on Instagram at Leatherwood USA. Take care.